Hey. All right. We're going to determine your business structure. Before you apply for your MC number and your DOT number, we need to determine what type of business structure you had. That goes back to the LLC, the S Corp, uh, the C Corp. So let's determine your business structure. You're going to get with that lawyer. I'm going to tell you right now, you're probably going to get the LLC or the S Corp. Let me make that. Let me determine your business structure for you. Boom, that's easy. All right, next. We're going to register with the FMCA. I mean, the FMSA. The FM, we're going to register with the FMCSA. You can do this by visiting them online and the website and completing the registration process. Um, they're going to want all your business, your EIN, your business address, all the basic business information. So you're going to go make an account with them and register with them. Then, before you get the MC and the DOT number, you're going to have to get that insurance. I told you that risk management, that insurance is a big key. People sleep on it. That commercial insurance, um, yeah, you're definitely going to have to. But I got, I got a lot of good vendors and guys that can help you with the insurance. Don't worry about it. If you got money, this is why I'm saying all this stuff is going to cost money. To go to streamline it the fast way, yeah, you can do it yourself. But you got to have some money to play a little bit to speed it up for you. Um, so, yeah. But hopefully you've been saving and running it up. That's what we do it for. Cut out all the bad investments. Let's get to it. So, yeah, get the insurance. You're going to need the liability, the cargo, and the auto. And you might need more cargo depending on who you're driving for. I've seen it go anywhere from 300 k to a million dollar insurance policy. So, yeah, we want to make sure we're protecting that freight. Next. Once you register with the uh, FMCSA, you can obtain and obtain insurance. You can begin the application process for your MC number and your DOT number. So, yeah, it's steps to this. It's levels to this. Yeah, most people fall off once they, man, I tried to make a business, an LLC. It, most people quit after that. I've heard more people say they've never started their business because they couldn't get past the filling out the LLC paperwork. That's why I preach on people. Pay a professional to do it so you don't get burnt out. It's, it's foreign to us. If you never did business, you don't know how to do an LLC. It's going to take you forever. It's like learning a new language, basically. So, yeah, let's make sure um, we paying the professionals if we got to. I get it. If you don't got the money, do it yourself. But make sure you do it. So that's the most important part. Now, let's get on to this next slide. Y'all got me hyped up over here preaching to the choir, man. <laughs> 